well this trip is to Cradle Mountain to uh, check the snow conditions out. We've had a bit of a dump over the last few days and I've sort of got a brief window of opportunity of um, two reasonably fine days so yeah just stopped at uh, Perth that's Perth Tassie for a cuppa and we'll head on my way to sort of part way up the uh, up, up on the route to uh, Cradle and uh, I'll camp tonight and get an early start tomorrow morning so yeah that's the plan um, it's a solo trip this time Sam's uh, working so yes hoping for some good uh, snow shots A magnificent morning at Dove Lake Cradle Mountain. About to head on my walk up to this knoll and over the back to uh, some tarns. Fantastic morning. Slowly waking my way. Um, not much wind, not as cold as it was down in the car park. A uh, perfect day today, absolutely magic. The only time to visit Cradle Mountain is after a bit of snow in winter. When you get a nice fine day. I don't think anything beats this place. Right, made it to uh, Twisted Lakes. That's Little Horn up there and Cradle over the back. Quite a bit of snow. Not as much as there was when I came earlier in the year with Sam. But uh, it's still pretty frozen from, the no from uh, freezing over during the night so it's good to walk on. Don't need um, snowshoes. Magic spot. Probably about another half, three quarters of an hour from um, where I intend to camp the next uh, the next night. So uh, yes, this is what retirement's all about. So they tell me. Ah. afternoon it's uh, 20 past 2 and it's remarkably warm not a breath of wind so I've been um, put a show everyone the photo I've just spent the last half an hour taking different shots vertical horizontal uh, very bright but um, yes I just love the uh, leading lines of the snow where it's been wind blasted uh, they just sort of lead you right up to the mountain behind yeah so I've managed to get some reasonable shots there um, not ideal having the camera on the extended part of the tripod I don't like doing that it adds to the wobbling but given that there's not a breath of wind um, I'm sort of stuck with that today so yeah this is a magic spot up here I can tell you I've got the whole place to myself and the Western Tears in the far distance over there and uh, Devil's Gullet some of you may have visited that 
where you get a view over uh, looking over to this direction. Yeah, so I might go and have a cup of tea and um, come out when the light's a bit better later on and um, who knows, there may even be a sunset. Now at a little tarn I've photographed uh, Cradle Mountain from over the years, heaps and heaps of times. <laughs> Must admit I've taken um, yeah, lots and lots of sunrise shots from this location. It's a magic spot um, and the late great Peter Dombrovkis uh, took a photo here uh, which became famous of uh, Little Horn. Um, Yes, a magic spot. Right, good morning. Um, well, it's sort of an okay day. A bit overcast and uh, misty. Not a patch on yesterday. Uh, heading up um, directly underneath um, Little Horn, where the track leads off to climb to the top of it. That's a nice very steep little pinch that is. I won't be doing that today. Um, so yeah I'm heading around the face track probably to Fury Gorge with a view to camping there but the weather's not looking at all good but uh, you never know tomorrow might come good and if it's too crappy there I'll move on to Waterfall Valley. So yeah that's basically it. Just uh, no sunrise this morning, it was all clagged in, so it meant I got a few more minutes sleep, which was pretty damn good. Um, yeah, I'll just show you Dove Lake. I bet people uh, can't figure out where I am currently. Uh, sorry for the audio and the echo chamber. This is an emergency shelter. It's one of those UFO-like dome structures. Um, it's up on the Cirque, sort of halfway from Fury Gorge to Waterfall Valley Hut. I imagine so that if people that are all prepared for the elements uh, get caught out. It's rem remarkably warm inside here, considering it's only a fiberglass shell. It's got the hatch up at the roof. You'd probably fit. Half a dozen people, if not more, in here. Yeah, so the vista out the window of the snowy landscape. held down with some uh, sturdy guy lines. So yeah, we're going to push on, push on towards uh, Barn Bluff and um, camp just by where there's a couple of little tarns. It's reasonably sheltered there, there's no wind forecast and hopefully get a sunrise in the morning on Barn Bluff. Well, that's the plan. This morning's plan went uh, amounted to mount, but that's, that's the way it is in Tasmania. Glorious one day, and like this the next. So. This will be my um, exposed campsite for the night. <laughs> and there's uh, Barn Bluff trying to poke its head through the mist. Very spectacular. And Cradle Mountain up there 
here somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to uh, get the tent up and a nice warm cupper and then possibly some afternoon shots of uh, Farm Bluff which just looks bloody sensational. Tents up, nice and warm, um, cup of tea, well coffee actually, yes, so tents dried out after getting saturated last night with the condensation, the only drawback with this bloody tent is it fills up with condensation, yes, so I might have to look at uh, yet the purchase of another tent that doesn't suffer from condensation problems. So yeah, the mist's slowly lifting, but this is the view out my door. Could be worse views. So um, yeah, check shortly to see if it's clearing and um, might go for a bit of a wander and uh, try and get some photos. the Solo Gore-Tex lined boots that I have. My feet are just damp but I think that's with probably sweat more than anything. Not even damp, you just say they, there was a little bit of moisture there. So yeah, can't praise these boots highly enough. My feet haven't been cold. For years I've persevered with boots without a waterproof membrane and um, ended up with soggy socks and freezing toes and especially in winter and snow but no these have been excellent today makes for much more enjoyable bushwalking for the campsite looking very cold and bleak all the peaks have are hidden away for the night I don't think I'm going to uh, get anything in the way of a sunset. So yeah, hasn't been a bad sort of a day. Easy walking in the snow because it's been, um, it hasn't thawed out so it's been nice and firm. So yeah, let's hope tomorrow um, turns out to be a bit of a better day. Anyway, we'll see what happens and uh, we take it as it comes. Right, good morning. And a magnificent morning it is. Not a breath of wind, blue sky, not a cloud to be skiing. Managed to get up here in time to uh, get the sunrise on Barn Bluff, so more than happy. Absolutely magic. Got the whole place to myself up here. Not a soul. Bliss! This is the... Uh, location I was taking the photos from this morning. And looking down to the overland track and the peaks of the centre of the park. Video I didn't have a zoom on. Yes. And Cradle Mountain. So yes. Quite a bit of snow still. Absolutely magic. So after yesterday's miserable weather, we get a daylight today and uh, it all seems worth it certainly does. And uh, down there is 
Waterfall Valley Hut, which is the first hut you stay in on when one does the overland track. Of course, because it's down in the valley there, um, you certainly don't get the views you do up here. I can see someone moving around on one of the duckboarding paths down there. So someone's up, but they've missed the light show. <laughs> So yeah, haven't decided what we'll do today, but I'll certainly make the most of it. The only drawback's going to be the um, the snow melting and uh, having to walk on it. So that's going to become somewhat tedious. So yeah, anyway, a nice cup of uh, coffee and some uh, hot porridge, the order of the day. Some uh, animal tracks there, I don't know what they are. Maybe uh, some sort of kangaroo. This is a sign that parks have put here on the circ of all places, telling you you basically need to organise a um, an overland track pass if you're walking during the booking season. I mean, you'd think by the time you got to this location you would have already organised that. So why bother putting the sign here as, as if you're going to turn around and go back? And my other gripe is. The booking system helps avoid overcrowding at overnight nodes, N-O-D-E-S. Bloody nodes, what a, what a stupid coinage of the term in this bloody instance. Anyway, don't get Reed started on his views on the way parks run the overland track. That's a whole other video in itself. Anyway, gripe over. Nothing is going to detract from the view. Just stopped at uh, Fury Gorge, a little creek, replenished some water. And this is the view of the Cradle Mountain Massive. Absolutely stunning. to uh, Barn Bluff. It's almost like the icing on a Christmas cake. <laughs> Look at that. And Fury Gorge down there. Twenty-five years ago when I was here and the airstrip was still in use at uh, the uh, Visitor Centre, where yeah, the car, big car park is now, um, was actually watching some planes flying down in the valley and then coming up here. Highly illegal, even then, but Jesus, it looked good. Would have been a bloody thrill of a ride. <laughs> yeah, magic. The beast. Right, my campsite for the night, I've just uh, cleared it out of the snow, got it a bit level, not particularly sheltered but not a lot of choice around here, and uh, yeah, there's the mountain there, looking fan fantastic, so yeah we'll um, get the tent up, have a cuppa, wander around, probably an hour, hour and a half daylight left. So, yeah, sensational, another perfect day, it's been great all day. I could not ask for better. One of those days I'll uh, cherish and remember for many a year to come, I can tell you. Bliss. 
one of the better views outside of the tent door that I've had in many a day. Doesn't get much better than that. Not a breath of wind. Area where I've been taking my sunset photos. I'm sort of reasonably happy, but not overly. I'm a fusspot. I just missed getting the main light on cradle. Very hard to photograph two things at once. But yeah. Right at the end of the day. Just scouting out um, locations for a sunrise in case it eventuates. So I might just come here and get these um, little low fagus bushes in the foreground and hopefully a bit of sun on um, Barn Bluff in the background. But yeah, it's absolutely not a breath of wind. And Crater Mountain. What a place. Whole spot all to myself. Oh yeah. Right, good morning. Uh, as you can hear, the pitter patter of raindrops on the tent roof indicate uh, today has turned for the worse. It was snow overnight, probably a couple of inches. Um, and this morning as well. But um, yeah, so not looking forward to the pack up with all the wet uh, tent. No fun indeed. Uh, and then about an hour and a half's walk out given the prevailing conditions today. So yeah, not far but it'll be an interesting walk out. Anyway, it's been a great trip, two out of four days, can't complain of that. It's been superb weather. Best I've ever had in the park, I think. Yeah, I oh, know it's a big call, but I'd, I'd rank them up there. So, yeah, that's all for now, and uh, see you again later.